Hey guys, uh, Renzo Cooking 88. Just doing kind of a update on some gear I got here. Uh, it's getting it's getting uh, around winter time over here, so it's getting pretty cold. Um, so I decided to get a new jacket. Uh, this is a Carhartt. I think it's the model's Active Jack. The reason I got this one, I mean, it's the good old. I mean, it's tough. It's a it's a Carhartt. Been in business since 1889. Um, they always use 100% spun woven cotton duck, whatever whatever that means. But it's it's tough. Uh, a lot of it's just triple stitched, if you can see that, which is just phenomenal. Still made here in America. It's hard to find stuff as tough as this. I mean, I, I have a wool jacket um, that I bought that was made by Volcom. I've had that for about four years, and I've been pretty tough on that one, but. Yeah, I've always wanted one where I just didn't give a shit about, which is going to be this one. Still trying to break it in. I've only had it for about two weeks now. Just been wearing the hell out of it. Has the thermal liner here. Has the two inside breast pockets. One zipper, just so you know you won't lose whatever's in that one. I usually have my wallet and zippo in there. Carry my SIDS right in here. Right now, I actually have my iPod. And then, of course, you have the two. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm not following my routine normally. To this one. Definitely not following my regular routine. But, uh, yeah. And I got the hooded version just because we get a lot, a lot, a lot of rain. And when snow comes, we get a good portion of that, too. So. Yep, there she is in all her glory. Just I love the triple stitched. I have uh, actually like hand me down coveralls, Carhartt coveralls that I got from my grandfather. He used probably for 20 years. Still, they're the insulated. They're hard. He's a mechanic, so they're hardcore. And that's whenever I do work on my pickup, and whatnot. That's what I usually wear. But this guy's gonna be pretty much everyday wear. Um, I love it already. It's finally starting to kind of, because the way this stuff is woven, it's so so damn tight that um, it, it, you usually got to wear it to actually, I, to break it in. I talked to some my grandpa, and he, he's like, yeah, uh, wear it before you wash it the first time. That way it kind of wears to your body. Now it's it's loosened up quite a bit, especially here in the shoulders for me. So now I'm probably going to run it through the wash once. And, uh, yeah. Carhartt, 1889. So yeah, this is uh, made in USA with USA and imported compo uh, components, but it's 100% uh, cotton lining, 100% polyester. Yeah, so this is a polyester thermal lining. Well, I got this because, like I said, it rains a lot, so um, I did want to uh, have something that if I do get completely soaked, that would still be warm on me. Yep. Yeah, there's just some warnings and blah, 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 blah. I haven't really read through that, but, um, yep. Yeah, actually, so this is a small, I'm not a big guy, I'm like 5'8", um, so that almost fits me perfectly. It's a little short right on the waist. I mean, it, it rides up a little high, but all of them, did. even the large, when I lifted my hand straight up, all rode up past my gut, so um, I think that's just the cut they are. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Super stoked to just wear the hell out of it. Thanks for watching, guys.